How's it going, man? Beggars, welcome back to Monkey Ranch MTV. Pretty cold, frosty day today in Northern Ireland, and I've come to uh, Castle Wellen Forest Park. However, I've done it a wee bit differently this time around. Gemma found on a forum somewhere uh, a place called Dolly's Bray Car Park, which is just up there. Um, I've seen that gate a million times, I've often wondered where it goes. It leads you to Dolly's Bray Car Park, which brings you down sort of the opposite side of Castle Wellen Forest Park and the first trail you come to is Moorish Return which is part of uh, Red Riders Return. It's a good idea because the main car park they'll charge you a fiver to park in which is fair enough for the facilities and stuff they have there but um, if like me you know you're not going to need those facilities and um, there's a wee small car park up there that's free and it brings you basically to the start of the trail system which is pretty cool. So let's hit the trails. So I just did that mirror return trail and I'd completely forgotten how fun it was and I hadn't turned the camera on. It's a shame maybe do it again at the end, but we'll see. <coughs> cool place to start but it's sort of similar to Davo and it's thrown it throwing you into a, a pretty cool trail when you haven't had any warm-up. <laughs> Snow in the morns today. See it's kind of weird doing it this way around because this would normally be me coming to the end of my ride back down to the car park, but I've only just started. I just saw two red squirrels, which is, I think, unusual because most of the squirrels you see are grey. I think the red is I think, made the, the red go nearly extinct. Yeah, the trail's still pretty sloppy. It was nice and dry yesterday, all day. In fact, yesterday would have been a better day to get on the bike, but I slept in too long, so I think there's been a few small showers this morning. Forecast for more this afternoon, and it's about five degrees, maybe about a little less, according to the car. But I'm warm already uh, and already got a guide. Back at the main car park. Yeah, I'm using a new lens cover today. A uh, uh, company called X Clear. Who, uh, if you go by their video, even if the lens gets completely covered in mud, it like, pushes it away to the side, which I find hard to believe. <laughs> but hopefully, it'll help with shifting any raindrops or mud drops that sat on the lens and ruin footage. Just off my glasses, <laughs> which I forgot to wear again. Yeah. Got these bad boys in home base or B and think it was for four quid, but yeah, they're steaming up really badly, so that's pointless. Yeah, that car park I started at guys is cool. I'm sure most Northern Irish mountain bikers already know about it. I'm always last to know these things, but I probably wouldn't even know it if it wasn't for Gemma. But it's called Dolly's Bray. Dolly's Bray car park, and it's on the Leitrim Road. I just got mud in the face. 
Apparently there's none in the lens. So he's expert doing it job. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> See, there's a red squirrel coming in front of me. Hope you quite a few of them here. Maybe I've got the wrong way around, I don't know. So the reds got rid of the grey, and the grey got rid of the reds. Nearly always grey, as you see, so I'm sure it's grey to get rid of the reds. So guys, had an absolute blast filming the castle on today, getting muddy and wet, but I just realised that when filming at 120 frames per second there's no stabilisation, so any of the POV stuff I did is probably going to be lost. But anyway, I've had an absolute blast today, so just go ride.